Hey guys, it's Scotty here again. A while back I made this macro photography ring light and I thought it's about time I shared it with all you guys. I've been taking a few shots with it recently and I just thought I might show you a few of them. It attaches directly to the camera's hot shoe attachment. And I printed up a flexible holder for the LED ring light. And this sits nicely around most macro lenses. All these parts are in the description, so don't worry about uh, making any notes as you go. The, all the links to the uh, to the products are in the description. Okay, and on to assembly. Now here's the 3D printed parts, the box bottom, the box lid, and the macro ring light holder. It's made out of a flexible TPU. Now you should also note that there's a captured nut in the bo bottom of the box and you need to stop the print just before it uh, goes past that point. Here's the double, AAA battery holder, standard LED dimmer, 12 volts, and this is the ring light that comes, it's a 12 volt ring light that uh, is made typically for use on cars. This is a uh, 12 volt regulator so it takes the voltage from the batteries and turns it up to 12 volts now we'll first take off the uh, the um, take the knob off the LED dimmer and unscrew the box we'll keep these screws because we're going to use them to sit, close the box at the end now we're going to pull this out because we don't need the casing anymore now we need to uh, desolder all four of these wires here. These first two we're going to be putting elsewhere and these second two we're actually going to be short shortening this wire because we don't need as much wire there. Now we open up the uh, little capsule, we'll keep that and we're going to desolder those two points there. Now we'll start off here with the uh, battery holder. This is one end of the chain. Now uh, this is already soldered to the um, to the little voltage regulator that takes it up to 12 volts. Make sure that the black and the white go to the ground, and the voltage in is the red, and the voltage out is the pink. Now these have been soldered take note that the uh, the pink goes to the uh, center left and then there's the resolded shorter section that was originally in the same in the same position just made shorter so it fits within this box now this then attaches to the other side that we desoldered from the uh, from the dimmer and that solders directly to the positive and negative on the uh, voltage regulator on for the LED. Now, 
unscrew in the uh, hot shoe mount. Add the screws that we've removed from the uh, dimmer originally. Now add the batteries to the battery pack. And we're going to put the uh, battery pack in, but make sure that the wires are tucked in underneath. This it's designed like this so you, you can remove it from the um, from the box easily without taking any of the other components out. Now you have to carefully feed the, uh, the voltage 12 volt voltage regulator into that little gap there. I've placed it in its own little section so that it doesn't short accidentally short circuit on any any other part uh, pieces of equipment because nothing's really mounted. They're all sitting in there wedged but not but not screwed down. Now tuck in the rest of the wire. Now we need to uh, grab the end of the plug and wedge it down into the base. And you'll see it'll, it'll sit directly in the little hole that we've made. Now finally grab the dimmer and that will slide in nicely too and once you've got that in tuck in the rest of the wires take the box and uh, screw these screws in just be careful not to strip them finally put the knob on and that's it we're going to plug it in, and there it is. It's working. Hurrah! Finally, we need to mount the LED ring light into the uh, flexible mount. It's got three clips on the ring light that uh, slot in to the uh, flexible mount. And then just push those leads back into that uh, into that little slit, and that's it. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope this was useful to you. Please let me know what you thought with a thumbs up or down. I love hearing what you think of my designs in the comments. If you want to see more of my DIY videos, you can check out my YouTube channel, Scotty Make Stuff.